Hello everyone, this is Nick Bianchetta again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download historical data on your stock, the S&P 500, and treasury bills. Um, so to start, we'll, we'll do your individual stock and the S&P 500 data. And to do this, you just want to go to Yahoo Finance. Um, the URL for that is finance.yahoo.com. And the easiest one will be to do the S&P 500, just because it's right here in front of us. And so towards the middle of the page on the left side, you'll see S&P 500. You want to click that. And then once you have this page here in front of you, you want to select historical data. And so you have three different criteria, the time period, uh, the information you want to show, and the frequency. And so first, you just want to adjust this to five years. You want the time period to be five years. And if you press this, um, by default, it's on prices, but you are able to select other options. For now, we want to keep it as historical prices. And then frequency, we to monthly. So once you have those three criteria, just click on apply. And you should see all this data here update. Next, you download. And it should download as an Excel CSV file. Um, it pulls up a different page and it gives you the option to change which type of file it is. You want to make sure that you select Excel comma separated files or Excel CSV. They are both the same thing. Um, so now that we have the S&P 500 data, next we will get the data for our individual stock. Um, in this case, I uh, will use Microsoft as an example. But you just want to put your stock ticker in the search bar up here, select your company. And then similar to with the stock index, you want to select historical data. And then the same process, you have these three criteria. So we'll do five years. Historical prices is there by default, so we can keep that the same. Frequency monthly. Click apply. And then we can download this data as well. Okay, great. So that's the information for our individual stock and the S&P 500 index. Um, next, we will have to go over to fred.stlouisfed.org. Um, or some of you may know this website as just Fred in general. And I'll do my best to have the links that are needed for this um, Post it on Blackboard just to make it more convenient for you. So once you're on, on Fred, you just want to use the search bar in the top right of the screen, and you're going to search for the one-year treasury bill. If you type in one year, you should see it pop up. Uh, we want this second option here, one-year treasury bill, secondary market rate. And again, for this, we want to have the five year time period. I believe it may be set to that by default, but just to be um, just to be sure, select five year. And I don't see it changing, so my guess is that it's just already that by default. Um, but next, you just want to click on download, and you have a couple different options that you can download it as. Again, we want to do a file. So it's the second option here after you click on download CSV. Just select that and then it downloads. So as you can see here, I have all three files, the one for Microsoft, 
uh, my example of the individual stock. Um, this is the S&P 500 data. And then this is the historical data for the one year treasury bill. So you wanna make sure you have all three of these files saved somewhere where you know what it'll be. And these will all be used in eViews.